everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about five things that you can do while you are in quarantine that are self-care, personal growth, slash goal setting and achieving things that you can do when you have more time and what better time right now than while we're all staying safe in our home, in our rooms, right? And we're not spreading any sort of germs or illnesses to anybody. So. I've compiled a list of five things that I like to do when either I have free time or that really help me towards like achieving my goals and things like that. And if you haven't gotten a chance to do them, now's the perfect time. So without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into it. So the first thing, which you kind of already got a sneak peek in this video, and I've made quite a few videos about this before, is to make a vision board oh, I'm not gonna go into like talking about how to make a vision board or anything because I have a lot of oh, biceps okay Maria um, <laughs> so lame um, because I've already made several videos so I will allow you to go look at those they're based on feng shui and you know achieving your goals and setting goals for different areas of your life and I've been making them for two years now I posted vision board workshops and I really just believe in the power of them just having your goals not only written out but in picture form to remind you what you work towards why you get up in the morning every day is so dang beneficial so um, there's no right or wrong way to do one if you can't go to a store to get like a bristol board or like a, a canvas like i have here just do it on a piece of paper like that's that's really all it takes to be honest it doesn't need to be a complicated process and sometimes when we make excuses like oh i don't have the right things or i don't have magazines i can't do it we put it off but when you want to like you will so if you don't have magazines maybe you have newspaper maybe you have like you can go online and print off pictures if you want whatever that way that you choose to do it there's no right or wrong way there's just doing it and reaping the benefits so number one is to create create a vision board number two which is something that i've really been enjoying is reaching out to either friends or mentors of yours people that you look up to that's the word that i want those are the words i wanted to say to have a virtual lunch or a virtual work session i'm actually impressed with the amount of people i've gotten to connect with online virtually that we talk normally but maybe i haven't seen them in a while and it was just a way to make a very purposeful and intentional meeting hangout slash catch-up session with them so do that if you have someone that you look up to a business owner a mentor ask for like 30 minutes to an hour of their time for help, guidance, support, whatever it might be. And I think that you'd be surprised that more people are apt to doing that than you would think. Um, I've given away numerous sessions, coaching sessions, just because I have the time and I love connecting with people. And I think that we all need that right now to remind us that we're not alone. We're all still human. We're all still in this together and we will get through it together. So that's a really fantastic thing. Imagine if we were going through this pandemic, you know, even like 20, 30, 40 years ago, we wouldn't have had the technology we do now to stay connected with one another. So make use of your time by scheduling a virtual lunch with somebody. One of the other things that you can do, number three, is actually spring cleaning. Hello, it is April 1st when I'm filming this, so it'll be April 2nd tomorrow. And I feel like April is the spark of spring weather. I feel like that's when it really starts to come. And with spring weather comes spring cleaning, of course. So go through your room, go through your closet, go through your dressers and drawers and everything like that and clean them out and make donate piles for when you know you are able to go and donate these items that you don't need anymore. Sometimes when you're home a lot more, you realize that you accumulate a lot more things that you really don't need. And if you've been at home for a couple of weeks now and you haven't used certain items, looked at certain items, I don't know, just even like acknowledge things, it's probably time to get rid of them and let somebody else get some use out of them or just toss them in the garbage if they're no longer able to be used or worn. Number four is make content rather than consuming content. And not that there's anything wrong with consuming content, I'm guilty of it too, but you're rarely gonna get a life-changing experience by just consuming a bunch of content, especially because most of us probably like just mindlessly scroll through social media. But when you actually create content, you have the ability to connect with people, gain not only followers, but people who believe in the same things as you. Um, eventually you can, I don't know, maybe like start a business off of that. Like if you're a business owner and you wanna promote your business or things along those lines, um, it's just 
a better way of using your time because there's so many more benefits to putting out content than just consuming because if you consume 100 pieces of content like the chances of any sort of growth networking opportunity on that are very little but if you're producing 100 pieces of content you could have people following you commenting on things asking to speak to you asking you to go on their podcast just because you're becoming known as the person of the things that you believe in and people are going to associate you with those things and therefore there's just more chance for opportunity more mindful of social media post content don't just consume content whatever it is that you love to do or talk about post about those things there's no right or wrong again just start doing it like number five is to start some kind of side hustle or other source of income especially now that a lot of people are not working you realize that your primary source of income is not coming in people are becoming very financially strained at this time and if you're not one of the people who is still working that can be a very it can be a very difficult situation to be in and there's so many ways to make money on this earth and a very good friend of mine once told me that the most successful people financially have seven different sources of income having those kind of incomes it makes it so much easier because if you don't like one thing or if one thing if you get laid off if there's a pandemic and you can't go to work you still have another source of income to rely on so some easy things that you could do are buying and reselling items going through like i already said if you go through your closet and if you go through your home and you have things that you don't use anymore but they are still good to use and someone else might get value post them on facebook marketplace post them on ebay somebody will probably buy them and it's an easy way for you to make a little bit of money and no it's not going to like pay for all your bills but it's better again to do something rather than nothing Another thing that my friend Kirsten actually started doing is she took this online workshop to make, I wanna say like clip art, I, I can see it in my head, but it's not like clip art, but um, graphic design for, for photos. And then you take the photo of a person. So if I'm like this, hi, she will turn it into a, like a little graphic picture. It's really cute and very, very, very skilled. So she took a workshop on how to do this. She got the, means to you know the editing software to do that and now she is she has an etsy shop and she's able to take orders and make a little bit of income through this new talent that she has so what you can do is go on different i'm sure if you just googled like how to do this how to make this there's a way that you could take learn that skill take it and then offer it as a service online and have people pay for that and again it might not be like the biggest money maker but it's something and if it's a little something right now it could be a lot of something later on and um, that's what's important to think about um again look at this as a positive opportunity to learn how to make more money in your life and i think it's just a great skill that you will always be able to use even if you just use it for right now just to like get through this time it's still very beneficial so starting some kind of side hustle or finding a way to make some money even if it is selling items that you don't need anymore okay everyone that is it for this video if you did not notice i put my hair up i mean i'm sure you noticed that by now and i'm really trying not to play with my hair but i still could like feel it over here and i was still trying to like touch it a lot so um we're doing a lot better with that though we're doing a lot better um that's all if you ever want any additional support friendship companionship i'm always available like I said, I've been doing a lot more virtual lunches with people in virtual work periods just because it's a great way to pass the time and to still maintain that human connection that we all want. I'm gonna leave my social media all linked down below for you so then that way you can go connect with me on there. And if you could do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to this channel. I enjoy making content to help you live your dream life. Uh, that is all for right now, I guess, and I will see you in the next one. Happy quarantining and stay safe. Bye.